How many tasks do you repeat in any given week? Honest question, whether that's writing a to-do list, sketching out a content outline, whipping up a budget spreadsheet, writing a proposal, brainstorming ideas, running through a checklist. A lot of work is repetitive, but some of that repetition can be outsourced to our software tools. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be walking through how you can use Notion template buttons to save yourself from the monotony of these repetitive tasks. Or at the very least, how you can create some cool shortcuts inside of Notion. First up, we'll create three template buttons, one for a daily task list, another for an SEO checklist, and finally one for a proposal outline. Then to wrap it up, I'll show you how you can mash those together into a little shortcuts widget that you can use to store your favorite Notion template buttons. So starting from a blank page, which only seems fair, I'm going to title this Notion template buttons. And the first template button we're going to create is a simple checklist task list. So, I would go about this by actually creating the task list itself. So I'm going to do command and then select the to-do list. And this might be a list of tasks that I know are going to be uh, quite repetitive for any given day or any given week. So I might actually even give this a title. So let's give it uh, H2 daily musts. And it might include things, we can even give it some formatting, like a divider. We could do things like read 30 minutes, meditate, go for a walk, waste time on Twitter, just the essentials that need to get done every day. And now that we have this whole block of stuff that we want to be able to quickly spawn over and over again so that we can check it off day after day or we could select them all and check them off in one go. What we need to do is now create the template button itself. And that's going to be as simple as, again, typing the slash for commands. And, you know, we can scroll down for the template button or I can just start typing template and it's going to show up in the advanced blocks section. Hit that. And it's going to give us this uh, configure, configurable template button, which has a name. We can give the button a name. And then everything that goes in here is going to be part of this template generator. So it's actually got a to-do list by default. I'm going to delete that. And the first thing I'm going to do is drag this whole thing into our template area. So everything inside of this particular input box is going to be part of our template and I'm going to name it daily musts. So you can see this is updating as I configure the template. This is the title of our template button. As soon as I'm ready, I'm happy with this. That's fine. I'm going to hit close. And now we have just this little button sitting here. So when I press the button, it generates a fresh daily musts list as many times as I press it, actually. And one thing that I figured out while making this video, actually, is if I select a block above this template and I hit the plus daily mass, it's going to create the list above it, which, to be honest, is not great. Um, I would prefer to have it below. So just make sure that you select a block below your template, hit the, uh, the plus button, and you're going to get a fresh list of whatever you have put inside of that daily must button. So what other buttons can we create? That daily must list is honestly a little bit boring. So what if we wanted to do something a little bit more involved? So instead of just this list of uh, check boxes, which is, you know, fine to check and then make sure that we get them done. But if we wanted something a little bit more um, powerful, we could recreate those particular tasks such as reading for 30 minutes. Meditation, I think, was another. And so on. You get the idea into a little Eisenhower matrix. So I have cheated and I pre-built this Eisenhower matrix. You can get the template. I'll link it in the show notes. But we could actually create a little, another little Notion template button out of this 
matrix. How do we do it? It's exactly the same process. So I'm going to search for this advanced block template button. I'm going to call it Eisenhower matrix. I'm going to get rid of everything that's in here. And I'm going to drag this whole block into this configure template button area. Close it. What happens when I select the Eisenhower matrix or I hit that plus button, it's going to spawn a fresh copy. Hit it again, another fresh copy. These are separate databases, so I can move this one over here, move this one here, hit done, check this archive, make sure it's in there, uncheck it, go back over here, make sure everything's working. These are separate databases and they're actually not even copies of each other. They are kind of separate instances. So now we could, from our little list of buttons, we could generate a quick daily must list, or we could also generate a pre-built Eisenhower matrix with an archive of finished tasks. So that's already a little bit more involved and useful. What else could we build? So another more practical example for the content creators out there might be an SEO checklist, maybe SEO on page checklist. So again, we can just create a new template button, drag everything that's in that checklist into this button in the configuring section close it and now we have our on-page SEO checklist. But to be honest, this probably isn't the most useful place for it. Chances are if you are running your content calendar and efforts in Notion, then you probably have a separate database tracking your content. So if I were to create a new database, let's just make it our content database, give it a calendar view, this is really going to be much more useful if it's a database template and not just a template button. So the exact same content. So let's say I wanted to create a new piece. I don't know. Web three design trends. I'm going to write an article about that, let's say. And I want to make sure that I'm hitting everything in that SEO checklist. So since we already created it, I can just spawn that copy the whole thing and then create a database template, which is going to be more useful for me. So that's as simple as hitting create template. You can also do it from the, uh, the calendar view. I'll show you how to do that as well. Give it a name on page SEO checklist. If I hit back, I can now see that this template is available to me. And so if I were writing my article about web three design trends, after that's done, I can also just check off these various on page factors. So the other place that you could create this template is from here. That's also going to let you create a new template. Similarly, I meant to hit this one, new template. What about more involved documents like a full length proposal with some galleries and databases embedded inside of it? So this is a proposal template that we have available on the site. And what if I wanted to create a template button that let me rapidly spawn copies of this proposal? It's really as simple as what we've just been doing. So I create another template button. I can say my proposal outline, and I'm going to drag this entire page into this template button. So when I hit that, it's going to spawn a new page. It's going to take me to that page. It's going to be my proposal outline. Now what you can do as well, if you would like this proposal to spawn on the page itself or the page that you're on, wherever you have this template button, what you can do is you can select this right click, right click select if you can, and you can turn it into text. So that's going to keep all the formatting, keep the entire, all the contents of that page and effectively just bring it up one layer. You can delete this and hit backspace one more time to get the formatting just right. And now if I hit close and I hit this, my proposal outline button, it's going to give me the full proposal on the page that I am on.
So already we're starting to build up a little bit of an arsenal of tools that could be handy for us as we go about our day-to-day -day work. We got a little daily musts. We got an Eisenhower matrix. We got this on-page SEO checklist. We got our proposal ready to go. What if we wanted to take these with us wherever we went in our Notion workspace? This is where I personally love creating these little toggle shortcut widgets. So let's quickly show how you can do that. And we're going to drag all of these into one such widget. So let's call this, I don't know. First of all, I'm going to create a toggle list and I'm going to call it freelancers beginner kit. And it's just got some tools that might be handy for going about your day to day freelance work. I'm going to give it a color. I'm going to make this one blue. I'm going to make this bold. None of this is actually important, by the way, but it looks nicer like this. So you can see we have a, an empty toggle that is blue and it's called the freelancers beginners kit. How do we turn it into a widget? I'm going to drag these four template buttons I'm going to drag them in below the title. And now we have our little widget. So if I open it up and I want an Eisenhower matrix, I can hit that. And then what I can do is I can drag it out of that blue widget box into my regular page and I could close my menu. So now I got the Eisenhower matrix that I wanted. So that's helpful. But right now the widget only lives on this page, which is called notion template buttons. What if we wanted to be able to access it wherever we went throughout our Notion workspace, or if we just wanted it to appear on a few key pages. Well, if you want to make sure that this updates and stays up to date um, wherever you are in Notion, the first thing to do will be to turn it into a synced block. Now, you don't have to do that, but this is just going to be helpful if you are making edits to any of these templates or if you're adding new templates to it. You might want to just have this as your home version and then wherever you take it with you it's going to uh, it's going to update accordingly but that's a bit of a, an extra step if you want to take it the main thing that we were talking about is how do i take all of these template buttons with me throughout my notion workspace well it depends kind of where you want it to appear but let's just say that you want to have a new page for your freelancer Let's say it's your freelancer homepage and you wanted your widget to be there as well. So this is a sync block. We can copy it. I'm just going to hit control C and control V at the top of the page. And now this appears on our freelancer homepage and we can do whatever we want to do for this particular dashboard with access to our beginners kit. This is where I leave it in your trusting hands to come up with more creative use cases than I have in this video. But the main thing to note is that this freelancers beginners kit little widget lives on this page called notion template buttons. We've turned it into a sync block, which means we can copy and paste it wherever we go in our notion workspace. And we'll immediately have access to this quick list of handy shortcuts. And just to give you an idea of how far, you can take it. Each of these are actually widgets that are part of this Flotion tool that I've created. And all of these are template buttons created in a very similar way to what we've just shown in this video. These happen to be linked databases and there's a little bit more to it to make sure that it all syncs up properly. But as you can see, you can start to create kind of sections of shortcuts, which then follow you around wherever you go inside of the your Notion account. So that's just an example of how you can take a very simple building block like the template button and build out something that's actually quite rich and complex. So that is a summary of how you can use template buttons to speed up all of the repetitive things that we need to do on a day or week to week basis. And the only question that remains is what will you build with it? Do let me know in the comments below how you use this template 
button slash widget hack. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.